Today, Andrew and I went to the store and bought the biggest teddy bear we could find, and we're gonna be performing some science experiments. <laughs> so we have got three different science experiments today. We've got Diet Coke and Mentos to see what happens when we put it inside. We have got dry ice, which we're going to throw in there, see what happens. And then finally, we've got a giant firework that we're gonna light, insert, and explode. Oh, I'm so glad he volunteered for today's science. Just look at that smile. He couldn't be more excited. Ain't that right, Teddy? It's time to prepare Teddy for his very first operation. Lay him on the table. I don't think you guys realize how big this teddy bear is. Isn't he like seven feet tall? Like, just pick him up, Andrew. You gotta get your vitals, man. Hang on. Ugh. Good grief. He's taller than you, Andrew. And he's way bigger than me. He's so chubby. Ugh. Give him a piggyback ride. Huh? <laughs> Feelings like this never end. We have to try and keep him. out the operation table. This is the official science lab experiment zone. You already know. We're scientists. Load them up. <laughs> for the very first experiment, it is time for dry ice. Andrew, you have the tools. I have my scalpel right here. We're gonna make our first incision down here. All right, guys, we are inside the bear. Now I can stick my whole hand in here. Just rustle around and be like, oh! So the plan is to, um, I might need even a slightly larger hole. Okay. So the plan is to, uh, we're gonna put all the, uh, okay, so the goal with this one is we're gonna get the dry ice, put it like in a bucket, put it in the bear. We're gonna try and cinch this up as much as we can and just see what happens. Will the dry ice come out of any specific areas? Will he look like a rotting corpse? We don't know. Let's find out! Uh -huh. uh, check this out. So we cut this gallon water top off. That way we can fit a giant cube in there. Then put the water in, boom. Now as proof that we are scientists, we have used dry ice before and have found out that if you use hot, hot water, it activates the dry ice tenfold for cooler experiments. So that is what we're doing. Would you look at that? We've got a full boil going. This is gonna be one impressive experiment, trust me. Here we are. So we're gonna put the water in first and then we're gonna get the dry ice, bring it over to the bear and let the project begin. Boy oh boy is this hot water. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Get that dry ice. Got my gloves on for safety. Now, let's go. Here we are. Let's insert into the bear. Okay. Get a nice firm place. Wait, let's just see how he's doing first. Are you okay? Okay. Are you ready for the drop? Okay, once you drop, you need to close him up though. All right. Okay, Dropping ready. in three, two, one. Oh man. Oh! <laughs> what the? <laughs> he's on fire! <laughs> Dude, Dude, it feels hot. He's coming out like his armpits. Look at this. Trying to seal it all off. Ooh, 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 he's coming out the bottom. It literally looks like he's on fire. Dude, it looks so weird. He's got really high blood pressure right now. Are you okay, Bear? What's his BPM? Quick! It's 250 BPMs right now! I need a stethoscope! We're about to go into surgery. Let's take a look inside. What's going on in there? I can't really see anything. Let me see what I can find in here. We have a leak. It's okay, we're gonna save you! You know, uh, this is actually a detox for the bear. Did you find something? Oh my. Science. <laughs> so I'd say the dry ice in the back was a success. I don't know what made it a success, but it is. So now we're gonna take it to the next level. We are going to cut out the bear's eyeballs and put the same gallon of water in his head so that hopefully the steam rises out of his eyeballs and hope this is a success as well. Currently working on some retinal surgery, as you can see. Ooh, that's his pupil. Well, this is the surgery that helps improve the bear's eyesight. Yeah, okay, there, he's ready to go. Nice. But before we jump into this next experiment, I know what you're wondering. Where did we get this brand new hoodie? It says more Jay Stu on the side. We got Marv on the front. Guys, we have a ton of new products on the merch store. JStuShop.com. 
We got some new hoodies. This is just one of them. We got a whole bunch of new t-shirts, laugh dailies. Oh my goodness, Marv is finally on a shirt. So head to jstushop.com, get your merch. It also is shipping internationally for the first time ever. You gotta be kidding. huge. All of our friends in Canada, the UK, Australia, you guys can finally get some merch, but do it after you're done watching the video. All right, so for round two, we're gonna be using the giant huge block. This thing is powerful. This is gonna require teamwork. Okay, get him on his back. You're the lead doctor here, so tell me what to do, man. Okay, just prop him up like that. All right. We gotta get this thing up into his head. You guys know Andrew has like a really good PhD in maneuvers of brains science. Science brain is my degree in. Can you get it right? I think it is in position. Okay, here we go. Wait. What does that sound? Uh oh. It looks to be coming oh. out of his throat, sir. <laughs> Eyeball. I see a little. Oh. Maybe okay. make some adjustments in the brain canal. Okay, I'm going in. Ow, it's getting hot. There's too much fuzz in the way. That's the problem. Make some adjustments. I'm trying. There's too much fuzz. Get it out. Get it out. Guys. Are you okay? Imagine if you walked into our warehouse and you just saw Andrew and I in here doing this. Would you be very confused? I think we lost him. <laughs> this one did not really work. But that's how it goes as a doctor sometimes. Sometimes you have patients, you just gotta be like, sorry man, I tried. <laughs> We've got to get to the bottom of this. What are you doing? I'm going in full force. What do you mean? Just get out of my way. Guys, I'm not sure what Andrew's doing right now. I think he's lost his mind. He's What? You're making a mess! What's going on in there? Nothing? I'm almost there. I have blood in my mouth. What is happening? You okay in there, Doc? Yeah, yeah. I think I found something. What is it? Oh, it's just a lesion on his liver. Oh no. This can't be good. <laughs> what the? I may need some tools. What is this? Uh oh. Ah, oh, it's a parasite! Get it! Get it! You will. You better knock it off. Here, I got your tool. <laughs> Why I ought to... You little... You, yeah, you, you did your job. Ah. Alright, I got it! I need to show everybody what's going on in here. Hey guys. So as you can see for this science experiment, we are inside the bear's valve system. There seems to be some abundance of virus. Uh, all, uh... all right, I think we just need to poke a few holes. That way, bear can breathe. Did you happen to have the stethoscope? Huh? I don't know what it needs. You're the lead doctor. All right, I got one for you. It's helping clear away a little debris. And then we'll take this one and we'll just start whacking it. Wake him up, right? Yeah. What is that? Oh! Something keeps hitting me! Alright, he must be having a, some sort of reaction. <laughs> Alright. This guy is a nightmare. He's gonna take a lot of work for us. What if all surgeries on people like went that way as well? <laughs> the doctor comes in, he's like, just has to get inside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Look at this mess. To the yeah. next one. We need experiment number two. It is now time for our Coke and Mentos explosion experiment. And we're trying to brainstorm some different ways to do that. One of the ideas we had is to use this tube. See, so check this out. Unscrew one of these and this goes right on top. And we can drop the Mentos in, and then we go like that, and then 
So the concept is to drill this tube through the top of his head so it goes straight down to the stomach. That way it can clear out the viruses that we found. Yeah. Step number one is we gotta cut a hole directly in the top. Aha, here we are. Test. Aha! Let's go! Guys, I have a bad feeling about this one. We are on top of the structure. The tube has been placed correctly. The Coke is inside the stomach. So all we have to do is unload a full pack, falls down the tube. You don't know what's gonna happen, but it's gonna be exciting. Ah. We've just opened the valve. Valve is complete, completely open. Tube has been placed correctly. Okay, I'm holding tube. We have to make sure that bear is in correct position. I've gotten like at least 10 of these. I'm nervous, I'm, aren't I gonna get like doused in soda? Well, maybe if you drop it, you gotta get out of the way. Quick. I'm just gonna drop these in, jump. Yep. Make sure all are inserted because that's his prescription. Are you ready for the countdown? Let me see how fast I can jump. We need you to get higher. That's pretty fast. Right? Yeah, but you needed to step up higher. Your hands weren't, weren't tall enough. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get down in time. Come on, you trust yourself. You're a doctor. Okay. The first ever giant teddy bear Coca Mentos. In three, two, one, initiate. Whoa! You do, that was not as expensive as the explosion as I thought. Oh, oh no. Oh nuts. Dude, it shot all the way back up the pipe. Wow guys, look at this. The operational table is now a complete disaster. Like, was that a success or what? I think so, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. We have an extra bottle, so it's time for the Diet Coke explosion. Three, two, one. What? <laughs> yeah. Didn't do anything. Maybe the snow on the ground impacted it. Oh Three, yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. oh wow. Oh. I thought it was supposed to miss a lot of here. Oh. And ripped it almost in half. Oh, uh, maybe there was too much pressure. Back inside. It's time for experiment number three. All right, for the final experiment. Ah, uh, we have got. Fire in a bottle. So we're gonna stick this in his inyards and light the fuse. This experiment is what we like to call the brain transplant. So we're gonna take out a little bit of brains and then replace it with this new one, which should work better. There we go, right in the head. That is That's perfect. Good. So this is the moment we've been waiting for. So we're going to light it and then stand back and just see what happens. Right. Okay. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Hold on. Oh, that's flying out, dude. <laughs> Woo! Looks like it might hit us. <laughs> Is he gonna set on fire? I don't know. What's all this stuff flying everywhere? Oh my. Uh-oh. Going into phase two. Phase two of the explosion. Oh, like it's burning. Oh my god. <laughs> dude. This brain's melting. His brain! Wow, not bad. And just so you guys know, you were very safe. We got our hose right here just in case. He is on fire. <laughs> oh! What? I don't want anything popping. Guys, look at that. Oh my. We need the hose, boys. Oh. It seems like the fuzz like fused together. That's why it was a brain transplant. Look at that, guys. This is helping to get out all the toxins in his brain, which is very helpful. Guys, the fire is currently getting bigger as we speak. Fire is increasing, Andrew. We need the hose. Get the hose. Turn it on. <laughs> He's losing his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think he's good. Officially okay. And there's the aftermath, everybody. Wow. Well, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, you leave a like. 
but click up here to watch our 50 characters in the same drive through video. It was hilarious. Or click down there to watch a different video that might be appearing. Also, don't forget to get your brand new merch on jstewshop.com. Go check it out at least. But as always, laugh daily. See you next time. Goodbye. Uh, uh,